Hey there my loves, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel Makeup Maniac by Linda. In today's video I'm going to show you guys this subtle pink makeup look for Valentine's Day. I know you all are very excited for Valentine's. Since last few years I have filmed red Valentine's makeup looks, this year I thought of coming up with something subtle yet girly and feminine so I came up with this pink look for Valentine's Day. The best part is I used all affordable and drugstore makeup products and showed you the techniques to get this long-lasting full day makeup look for Valentine's. So if you want to know how I got this look then please keep on watching the entire video. Without any further ado, let's get started. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to use the Flormar Perfect Coverage Concealer in the shade 01. For my eye makeup today, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette. With a fluffy blending brush, I'm picking up this cream eyeshadow and apply that as my base shadow and set my concealer. With a JAF blending brush, I'm taking this light peachy brown shadow to apply as my transition shade. Now with a smaller blending brush and this burgundy type of shadow, I'm going to use it to deepen my crease area and apply that onto my outer crease. With a little bit of concealer, I'm going to clean up the center part of my eyelid so that my eyeshadows pop. Now with a shadow applicator, I'm going to apply this shimmery pink shadow onto the center part. Now with a pencil brush, I'm taking this brown shadow to deepen up my crease and my outer corners. Now using this shimmery shadow, I'm going to apply that to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. To line my eyes, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Liner. Now I'm using Pharmacy Extreme Curl Mascara for my upper and bottom lashes. I'm using Makeup by Jazz False Lashes in the Style 4. For Valentine's, since I'm showing an all-day makeup or daytime makeup, don't forget to use your sunblock or sun protectant. So first I have used the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunblock. And now I'm going to use Absolute New York Flawless Face Primer. Using a primer gives your makeup a smooth finish and also makes your makeup last for a longer time. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 220. This foundation is a very full coverage foundation so a little bit goes a long way and this lasts all day long. This foundation does oxidize a little bit so try to get one shade lighter than your original shade. So I'm also applying foundation on my neck and buffing the face really nicely. And now to set my foundation I'm using the Lacme Absolute Face Powder in the shade 01 Ivory Fair.
The Superstay foundation already gives a matte finish but I have got very oily skin so I always use a powder to set my foundation. To contour my face, I'm using the City Color Contour Effects Palette. From here, I'm using this light brown shadow to bronze and contour my face. As my blush, I'm using the Jordana blush in the shade 17 Rouge. This is a subtle pink blush, perfect for my Valentine's look. The blush is really affordable but still you can see how beautiful it looks and it's really easy to blend so I highly recommend Jordana blushes. So to highlight my face I'm going to use one of the most hyped up products of this season. This is the Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. From here I'm taking this light pink highlighter and I'm going to highlight the high points of my face. It seems to be really pigmented so I should have used much little product. The highlighter is literally bomb and now I know what all the hype was about. I'm again highlighting my brow bone and inner corner because I just want it to be a little bit more highlighted. And now let's zoom in to complete the under eye makeup. Using this peachy shadow and this deep burgundy shadow, I'm going to smudge out my lower lash line. And now using a pink waterproof gel eyeliner from Absolute New York, I'm going to line my waterline. This part is totally optional and you guys can use nude liner if you don't prefer to use pink. Now finishing off by adding some mascara onto the lower lashes. To line my lips, I'm using Pharmacy 204 Lip Liner. And now to fill in my lips, I'm using the Note Cosmetics Matte Moist Lip Gloss in the shade 403 Sugar Kiss. With this, I'm going to mix a little bit of Pharmacy Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade 103 because I feel like this is too light for me. And now to lock everything into place, I'm using the Milani Makeup Setting Spray. So here is my final look guys. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And if you are recreating this look on your Valentine's Day, then don't forget to share your look with me on my Facebook page. All my social media links will be given in the description box below. And if you are someone new on my channel then hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you do not miss out any new videos. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye and take care.